All right, um, here is uh, the PC board that I want to lay out. This is the schematic for us. I'm going to use the Arduino Nano, my favorite Arduino. And um, it's just going to have a bunch of digital outputs to drive these displays. So this is three displays. Um, and um, yeah, there's not too much going on. All the data lines are, are shared. I'm um, only going to run one of these at a time. Um, this little four-digit guy only has three address lines, but the bigger ones have five address lines. Um, other than that, there's read-write, chip selects, things like that. Um, and the only other funny little thing I put on the board was uh, SPI output, I mean, um, our, uh, I squared C output with some pull-ups, in case I want to use that, and a switch. Um, so there's just a switch to ground. Um, you can configure the input ports of, a, of the Arduino to have a pull-up inside. There's a, a pull-up that you can enable, so you don't need to put one on the PC board. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at the PC board itself. All right, uh, this is what the PC board's going to look like. Um, it's going to have the three displays. and um, I put them in this configuration because the data lines are shared, so they just kind of they just kind of go up and down. Uh, so a lot of the interconnects are just vertical, and then over to the uh, nano are the horizontal ones. Um, I always like doing the vertical on the top uh, trace, the red trace, and on the bottom trace I have um, uh, blue, uh, just the way I do it. And um, there is a ground plane. Let me turn that on. Uh, so there is a ground plane that uh, finishes the thing. Um, there's some mounting holes in the corners, uh, a way to get power, a connector to, to get power onto the board, and a way to get I2C off the board. And then here's that little switch. Um, so that's the board we're going to lay out. So uh, fingers crossed, and it'll save me a whole bunch of wiring. <laughs>